children good morning how are you how is your work going on i think you are doing well welcome back to our session what is our topic it's about body movements yesterday's class we have seen how the body it is going to move and joints in that types of joints is it so in the yesterday's class we have learnt about the ball and socket joint now today's class let me know about a pivot joint what do you mean by a pivot joint in a pivot joint a cylindrical bone turns in a ring type bone so we will be having here that means at the back of our skull so this is called as the skull at the back we will be having the cylindrical bones turn in the ring type i'll show the picture to you in that picture you can know that ring type bone the pivot joint allow rotation so due to the rings it is going to rotate around its axis so it will be rotating around its axis a pivot joint exists between our skull and the top vertebra of backbone so this is our skull here it will be having for us the ring structure and the vertebra here the bone will be and it will be connected to our back bone okay so back a pivot joint between our skull and neck skull and the neck allows our head to bend up and bend down from side to side so up and down and also side to side which type of joint it is going to help for us it is the pivot joint okay next let me go for hinge joint what is that hinge joint the movement of bones is restricted to one direction by the shape of the ends of the bones which form the joint and by the ligaments which hold the bones together at the joint so where you can see this hinge joint means in our body hinge joint at the side elbow knees finger joints and knee already we are having the knee here so in that it is repeated only so here it is going to occur for us it is occur near to the elbow knee parts and also the finger joints we are having the which type of joints hinge joint okay next let me go for what do you mean by the fixed joint fixed joint as the name itself it says for us it is the fixed one fixed means it doesn't moves from any place is it yes so as the name itself it says that it's a type of joint because all it does not move in any direction can you guess which is that yes our skull skull bones that is the bones present in our head also called as the skull bone which does not move where it moves it will be fixed here itself so like that bones we call it as the fixed joint understood children this one for today's class what we have explained about the pivot joint hinge joint and the fixed joint what and all i have written on the blackboard you have to copy to your homework note not in the class work book homework note you have to copy it whenever you come to the school for the visit you have to show it okay i think you will do no children yes. and next our topic is skeleton have you seen the skeleton yes, i'll show for you okay now next our topic is about skeleton let me see skeleton so what the all you are having this is the skin inside that we are having the muscles inside of that we are having so many bones is it so we can see the skeleton totally our body is made up of by the bones so how many bones are there for us there are 206 bones is it yes it has movable joints between various which allows the muscles which allows the muscles move the head shoulders arms legs and 
other parts of our body. So totally our body like this structure we need it means the main thing is we have the bones. So the skeleton consists of skull here, backbone, backside, ribs, breastbone here near the lungs which we are having the rib cage. Shoulder bone, where we are having the shoulders, here, bones, hip bone, that is the back, arm bone, and also the leg bones. This and all will give the structure of the human being. So, what is this? What is the skeleton? Skeleton is totally it has made up by our bones. Is it? So, we can, I'll show the skeleton picture for you children. You can see that. Okay, so in the next class, let me learn where and all we are having the bones. Here, we are having the hand bone. You can see the picture. Hand bones of the picture. What is the rib cage? What we are telling about the backbone? What is the skull? This and all. Let me see about detail in the next class. So, thank you. Body movements and joints. In this module, you will learn about body movements and joints. You do different exercises in your yoga classes at school. For doing these exercises, you do different types of movements. For example, moving your arms and legs, forward bending, shoulder rotation, and many more. You can do these movements easily because your body is flexible. Such flexibility in our body is due to the presence of joints. Do you know what a joint is? Well, a joint is actually a place where two bones are joined together. Press your hand against your knee, shoulder or your fingers. You can feel your joints there. Not all joints allow movements. On the basis of whether the joint helps in the movement or not, these joints can be categorized into two types immovable and movable. The immovable joints are the joints that allow no movement of the body parts. These are also called fixed joints. Such joints are found in the skull. Except the joints present in the skull, all other joints found in the body are movable. Movable joints are the joints that help in the movement of the body parts. Movable joints are further of four different types. They are hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. Let us learn about these joints one by one. Let us first learn about the hinge joint. A hinge joint is very similar to a door hinge. You can see that the door hinge allows the opening and closing of the door in two directions. Similarly, a hinge joint in the body also allows the movement in two directions that is forward and backward or upward and downward. The elbow and knee joints are the two examples of the hinge joint. Let us now learn about the ball and socket joint. In the ball and socket joint, the end of one bone acts like a ball. This bone fits into another bone which acts as a socket. Hence, the joint is called the ball and socket joint. This arrangement allows easy movement of the body parts in all the directions. The hip joint and shoulder joint are the two examples of the ball and socket joint. The next type of joint is the pivot joint. In this type of joint, one of the bones acts like a cylinder and fits into the end of the other bone, which is like a ring. Hence, the first bone rotates inside the ring and allows easy movement of the body part in different directions. An example of a pivot joint is the neck joint. The pivot joint allows the movement of neck sideways, upward and downward. It even allows the rotation of the neck. The last type of joint is the gliding joint. This type of joint allows the bones to glide over each other and hence allows slight movement of the body parts. In this type of joint, the joint bones are flat and so they slide back and forth and side to side. 
ankle joint and wrist joint are some examples of the gliding joint. Now, there is a special tissue that holds the two bones of a joint in position. This is called ligament. There is another soft tissue that covers a joint from outside. This is called cartilage.